Man grows great along with greater goals. Friedrich Schiller. Hello. In the first lecture, we've considered the most important issues on our day's being of the human and awarded the life goal of the human. In this lecture, we will look into primary tasks to achieve the stated life goal. The humans need to realize the following primary tasks in order to initiate the attainment of the life goal, while the certain forces do their utmost for the humans to remain stuck at one point. Primarily, the humans need to comprehend, accept and employ in the personal practical activity the categorical understanding of our being as indissoluble union of the superfine plane and the material manifestation. I repeat that in the sphere of the superfine plane and the material manifestation there are several forces and not one. In the intergalactic space, there are seven of these forces in total. Humans within the Earth space and the surrounding Earth space are affected by three forces, the light forces of being, the hijacking forces, or the gray forces, or the grays, and Lucifer force. These forces always affect the humans, irrespective of their awareness of this fact. Secondly, our existence is a totality of vibrations of different fields, energy, information, torsion, etc. In a form of waves of a different frequency and length, meaning our existence is based on vibrations and waves and not mechanics. This absolutely doesn't mean that the material structure of our world should be relegated to the background, as it is done in the religious paradigm, through the widespread convictions, it's all in the hands of the Lord, where instead of the word Lord could be Jesus, Buddha, Allah, or any name of God. It's exactly the opposite. Everything is in the hands of the humans, However, the more precise saying would be everything is inside the heads and the hearts of the humans. The task is to understand how this everything gets inside the heads of the humans and accumulates inside their hearts as the values. How do the specific emotions, thoughts and images arise in the human's brain? How do they turn into the convictions and then in the practical activities. What if this process is a scripted activity, a certain construct integrated by specific forces? Only with rejection of materialistic, religious and pseudo-historic percepts, which are imposed to the humans from an early age, and with transition to the categorical comprehending of the nature of our being as based on vibrations and waves, the challenge could be accomplished. Next super complicated task is the synchronization of the information and energy field of the humans with the fields of the light forces of being and the creator. Humans need to firmly acknowledge and always remember that their thoughts, images, desires, emotions and practical activity resonate at the specific frequency corresponding to the information field of one or several forces of the fine plane. This force receives information and other fields transmitted by the humans, boost them, adjust the flow of information and sends back to the source or the initial sender. And this reciprocal transmission of information and energy with the light forces of being is instant, while with other forces it happens with some delay. New thoughts and ideas appear 
in the human's head at this moment and he or she has motivation to act. Any reasonable person at this moment would ask this question, how to achieve this synchronization, and immediately would answer, this is impossible. However, this is possible, and moreover, it is vital. It is certainly not easy, yet the effortless decisions are paving the way to the slavery under the reigning dominion, or to be precise, lords of humanity and enemies of humans. As a matter of priority, the humans need to set the goals of their lives. These goals have to be as overarching as the free will of the Creator and the light forces of being which the humans are capable of grasping at that particular period of time. The wording of the life goal of the human was given in the first lecture. The humans have to attain the goals of their lives regardless their circumstances, acknowledging with their minds and hearts the true purpose of their existence. The humans need to understand and accept the authentic concept of being, actually both parts of it, material manifestation and superfine plane, and learn to benefit from this knowledge in their day-to-day -day activities. The humans need to develop comprehensive understanding that every their thought, action, breath, especially the last one, should be steeped in unbendable faith in their inviolable and indissoluble unity with the light forces of being and the creator of being, be filled with true, selfless, unlimited love for the spiritually related humans and tireless, fearless and relentless struggle with the enslavement and degradation by elusive force and the hijacking forces in any form and conditions. Another basic aspect is the emotional component of a human's life. Yet this important part of being remain undisclosed and unclear to the humans, since it is surrendered to the mercy of psychologists, psychiatrists, religious figures, psychics, magicians, sorcerers and warlocks, with their abundant controversial interpretations, opinions and spurious convictions. In that respect, the task to reveal the influence of the emotional state of the humans on their present and future life distinctly becomes evident since the emotions are the most powerful generators of waves and other units of frequencies transmitted by the vibratory fields of the humans predominantly to the fine and superfine plane and not to the material manifestation. Therefore, it is crucial to learn and remember that these vibrations are feeding the specific forces of various planes and thus attracting them into a human's field who is transmitting these vibrations. The qualitative value of the influence of these forces, the light forces of being, Lucifer force, the hijacking forces, depends on the quality of the frequencies transmitted by the humans experiencing their emotions. Being the objects of the various planes, the corresponding forces of being not only receive these fluctuations of the vibratory fields, but also return the altered and amplified signal to the subject or sender, a human being in this case. Should the fluctuations of the vibratory field of a human caused by the specific emotions fall within the lower or middle frequency range, then the human's vibratory field will resonate with the information and energy fields of Lucifer force and the hijacking forces. These forces will provide the feedback with the sender, consequently directing his thoughts, images and emotions. 
the human generally unsuspecting what is happening, keep sinking into despondency, depression, or start igniting with unreasonable aggression, making one mistake after another. It is not a coincidence that wrath is classified among capital vices, also known as cardinal or deadly sins in the Christian teachings, even though it is not specified in the Bible. As for the despondency, to the mind comes an allegorical noun phrase, slew of despond, from Pilgrim's Progress by John Bunyan. And it is not a coincidence, since despondency is also a capital vice or cardinal sin in the Christian Orthodox teaching, even though it is not emphasized by the Catholic Church. This is another great evidence not only for the incorrect translation and interpretation of the scripture, but also of the numerous revisions it underwent. One could only imagine how many modifications there were made to the Bible within the last couple hundreds of years just by witnessing Pope Francis claiming the translation of the Lord's Prayer or Our Father to be incorrect in 2017 and proposing the amendment in 2018. Therefore, the humans fall easy prey to Lucifer force and the hijacking forces without conscious control over their emotions. The control over their emotions is best inculcated in the childhood. This is exactly what the British upper class is doing. Another remarkable fact is that information content and educational campaigns from the government are causing emotions of the specific frequencies of the vibratory fields of the humans. By flinging dirt on television, radio and internet, they're enabling these forces to reign supreme. The low frequency emotions corresponding to Lucifer force are fear, despondency, depression, enjoyment of the act of sadism, pleasure in consuming alcohol and tobacco, enjoyment of the consumption of narcotics, abhorrence, hatred, pleasure out of gambling, laughter provoked artificially, not a child's laughter, theatrical arts, dramatic acting, enjoyment of using hired labor and profit derived from it, servility, all emotions associated with the cerebral hired labor and career achievements, pleasure out of intrigues and enjoyment of wealth, emotions resulted in a loveless sexual intercourse, obsession, bigotry, annoyance, exasperation. The medium frequency emotions corresponding to the hijacking forces Aphidians or snake-like hijackers are harassment and aggression, malice, envy, revenge, jealousy, admiration, arrogance, pleasure out of lie and laziness, hassling, hunger for glory, lust for power, self-benefit, individualism, narcissism. The high-frequency emotions corresponding to the light forces of being are delight of a rightful act, joy of gratis aid to the spiritually related humans, gratification in the blessed measure of consumption of the material benefits, that is to enjoy the modest competence, contentment from artistry and creative operation, taking delight in the pledge of mutual love, pity to others less fortunate. The ultra-high frequency emotions corresponding to the creator of being are unconditional and unlimited love with readiness to sacrifice life for the love object, not to be mistaken with fanatism, 
love in this case considered as a kind of activity of a human towards the attainment of the life goal. Gaiety of establishing the unities of the spiritually related humans sharing common life goal. Delectation out of the creative product, including intellectual activity in the flock of the spiritually related humans, tackling the tasks towards the attainment, the big goal of life. Sense of justice and struggle for attaining it by the unity of the flocks of the spiritually related humans. It is necessary to consider that the impact on humans in a form of the impulsive stimulus conveying inspiration, insight, motivation, giving impetus to take actions could be done by both the light forces of being and Lucifer force. This kind of stimuli, Lucifer force, pass over to the humans experiencing following emotions, fear, despondency, depression, unnaturally caused laughter and servility. The light forces of being convey their stimuli only when the humans experience ultra-high frequency emotions. What these emotions are, I have just explained a couple of minutes ago. Moreover, the humans relay their stimuli to the light forces of being during this experience, clearing their surrounding space of the foreign information and energy fields masses at the same time. The hijacking forces or grace or ophidian snake-like entities should not be taken for serpentine or reptilian creatures often portrayed by popular resources as non-existing form of shape-shifting reptiles or massive two-legged serpents living among us. Do not have this kind of impacting ability on humans, which is one of the main reasons for their alliance with Lucifer Force. As follows from the just mentioned, the priority task is to develop methods and rules for the conscious control of the emotions by the humans, to display the emotions exceptionally of high and ultra-high frequency ranges that provide the synchronization with the vibratory fields of the light forces and the creator of being, and to ensure the feedback in the form of the new stimuli for the energetic living activity, inspiration and specifically longing for the co-artistry, that is, intellectual transactions with the flock of the spiritually related humans. The most important task is understanding the assembly of the thought structuring of a human and the process of the intellection and ideation, which is not similar to the process of cognition and conception, with consecutively arising imagination, willingness and motivation. Proceeding from the life goal and the purpose of life of a human, it is essential to properly master the concentration of the thought flow accompanying it with the emotions of the corresponding ranges of the frequencies, by all means. A thought is not a product of heretofore unknown biochemical process, but rather an outcome of the influence of information fields and other waves of the certain frequency on the neurons of a human brain. And this frequency directly depends on the frequency of emotions of a human. Moreover, the emotional condition is paramount. Most importantly, in the moment of the concentrations for the humans, do not experience the emotions of the low or medium frequency range, which is often the case. Therefore, for the humans, to obtain the cognitive or mental resonance with the light forces of being, 
it is mandatory to balance the serenity of mind, meaning not to respond to the provocations from the surrounding environment, and not to fall over themselves for the emotional upheaval within the high and ultra-high frequency range of emotions. The thought being the information substance of the fine plane allows to communicate this information without any hindrance to the humans with the condition of synchronization with the frequency ranges of the light forces of being. Humans, for their part, ought to be ready to grasp it and elaborate it. The great part in the resolution of this particular issue takes the process of collective intellection in the unity of the spiritually related humans. In this case, the resonance of the frequencies expands in a geometrical sequence. As Hegel noticed in his philosophy of subjective and objective spirit, art, enjoyment of being and delight heavily increases the intellectual abilities of the man. And this should not come as a surprise, since delectation is the emotional part of humans' activity. It is important to remember that the humans can generate their thoughts independently, or what is even more important, to obtain them from the external medium. While obtaining vicarious thoughts, the humans are not even aware of this. No one may allege that the thought cannot exist outside the brain. Camille Flammarion, the unknown. This is exactly why the meaning of intellection and cognition is not the same. Intellection is the process of production or generating of all thoughts, ability to discern the thoughts obtained from the external medium and their transmitters, to transduce the thoughts into the ideas, images and motivation for the practical activity in the attainment of the goal of the human life. Cognition is the unconscious employment of all available to the human's thoughts for the decision-making. The aim is to understand this phenomena and to develop the method allowing to strengthen personal intellection. The following numbers speak on the priority of solving this objective. The average person of the present time unconsciously employ vicarious thoughts in the amount of 96%, while production of own thoughts is only 4%. Everyone should bear in mind that there are people, usually members of different groups, who are generating 50% of own thoughts. These kind of people are not exceeding 270 thousands. Maximum level possible of own thought generation for a human today is 65%. These kind of humans are not exceeding 100 thousands. Since the vicarious thoughts are usually induced from the fine plane, the overwhelming amount of people, excluding by robots, have no faintest understanding of the fine plane segment these thoughts are originated from, whether from the light forces of being, or the hijacking forces, or Lucifer force. Broad picture in terms of segmentation looks like this. Average person is employing 68% of the thoughts induced from the fine plane segment of Lucifer force, 31% from the hijacking forces, and 1% from the light forces of being from the overall amount. Comparing the data of just a year ago to these days creates a saddening statistical picture. The population of Earth in 2020 comparing to 2019, has decreased for 200 millions of people. The number sounds especially dreadful for those who know that the population of Earth is much less than we are told. In 2019, it was 3.4 billions of people, and in 2020, it decreased to 3.2 billions of people. 
What is even more terrifying is that the half of the deceased people were the humans capable of comprehending the information I'm presenting here. The decrease of 1% from 5 to 4%, or converting to the actual numbers from 170 millions to 128 millions in just one year, might not sound as horrifying as until it is announced in the numbers of perished people. Approximately 42 millions of people who were capable of intellection and thus producing their own thoughts are no longer among living. The amount of people capable to produce the highest possible for today level of own thoughts, 50%, dropped by 30 thousands, from 300 thousands to 270 thousands. Even more devastating is the decrease from 5% to only 1% of the people actually using the received thoughts from the light forces of being. In the actual numbers, the reduction is from 170 millions to 32 millions of people. More and more people are resonating on the frequencies and receiving their thoughts from the hijacking forces. However, the leader in it still remains Lucifer Force. Taking into consideration that this all has happened in only one year time, the tendency is appalling. And those who would like to see the development of our lives moving to the other direction need to stop procrastinating and act quickly but wisely. Seeking the humans around them, gathering together, discussing this and staying in touch. If you have any questions related to the subject we are presenting here, please do not hesitate to contact us and to share your thoughts. Now continuing the subject of the influence of three forces on humans, the strength of thought, the degree of effect and strategy of it based on the life goal of a human, is the highest from the segment of the fine plane corresponding to the light forces of being. If it taken for one, then the strength of a thought from the segment of the hijacking forces is 0.7 and from Lucifer force 0.5. The speed of thought also differs. The speed of a thought from the segment of the fine plane of the light forces of being is instantaneous and if taken for one, then the speed of a thought from the segment of the hijacking forces is 0.6 and from Lucifer force 0.3. That is why the first thought is usually the right thought. And besides, a thought from the light forces of being has a grape wine effect, which means that if this thought is perceived and comprehended, then the other thoughts follow, completing the finalized sequence of mental images. And what else is important, that this effect is not limited to the human who perceived the initial thought, but also, at the same time, may be picked up and developed further by others within the same flock of the unity of spiritually related humans. The leader in the legerity of thought is the hijacking forces, 1. Lucifer force, 0.7. The light forces of being, 0.5. It is worth to mention a distinguished characteristic of the thought, such as obtrusiveness. Obtrusive thoughts is the initial and distinctive attribute of the thoughts induced from outside. That is expression of indirect and delicate influence with the far-reaching consequences. The top level of the thought obtrusiveness belong to Lucifer force, 1, followed by hijacking forces, 0.7, and 0 from the light forces of being, 
which means that no obtrusive, compulsive, obsessive thoughts could ever come from the light forces of being. This is why all the obtrusive thoughts often appear as the memories of the past, of the mistakes and errors, of the missed opportunities, of the unfulfilled projects, etc. This kind of thoughts should be ignored and left behind, and provocations related to them met confidently and calmly. Therefore, the conclusion should be made to introduce control of emotions and discipline of thoughts in our lives, that is not to react and think unconsciously. The Sermon on the Mount program words of Jesus were Don't give that which is holy to the dogs, neither throw your pearls before the pigs, lest perhaps they trample them under their feet and turn and tear you to pieces. <laughs>